Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Urban cities, metropolis, whatever name you want to call them. As more and more people migrate from rural areas and settle in urban areas, there are a few people who seem to be going in the opposite direction. Yep, these people don't play well with others, and they clearly show this by isolating themselves from the populace in some of the most remote places in the world. They want their peace and quiet, and they will do anything to get it, even if that means building a house in the middle of nowhere. With that being said, let's take a look at 10 of the most isolated homes of people who hate the outside world. Number 10. The Atchley Family in Alaska The Atchley family lives over 200 miles away from the nearest soul in the wilderness of Alaska. David and Romy Atchley have lived remotely in this area off Nowitna River for 18 years. Yes, that's right, 18 years of peace and tranquility away from the prying eyes of Snoopy gossiping neighbors. No wonder they seem so happy. Meanwhile, I can't even get my neighbor to keep his dog from howling the entire night, dang it. Their 13-year-old son, Sky, was born there too. They live what you may call a hippie lifestyle. They love smoking weed and steaming naked together in their sauna. But they actually say they prefer their way of life to dealing with people, who they say are too much effort. David even said he'd leave his wife if she ever tried to get an internet connection. Paranoid much? They only leave their cabin for one month out of the year to visit family in Alabama. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Elide Island the cabin on the Icelandic Elide Island has been called the most remote home in the world. Not much is known about the mysterious island. About 300 years ago, it is thought that five families lived on the island where they hunted puffins and raised cattle. By the 1930s, inhabiting the island became impractical and all the inhabitants left. But the island remained a prime puffin hunting location, and in 1953, the Elide Hunting Association built a lodge on the island for hunting use. There are some unfounded rumors that the island was gifted to the Icelandic singer Björk. So, if you're looking for the ideal location to say goodbye to the outside world and settle in, then this just might be a prime option for you. Plus, hey, you'll be great at hunting puffins, right? Number 8. Village of Gasadler The village of Gasadler is located on the island of Vigar in the Faroe Islands. The island is notoriously difficult to get to. It's surrounded by steep cliffs by the sea and massive mountain peaks on land. In 2004, a tunnel was blasted through the mountain, allowing automobile access to the village. However, the population is still microscopic with only about 18 inhabitants. Imagine having to walk two miles just to borrow a lawnmower from your next door neighbor. Man, that's gotta suck, right? Number 7. Kotchki Pillar It takes a lot to forego earthly possessions and turn to a spiritual life in a secluded mountaintop somewhere. Indeed, life is simple for the solitary monk who lives in the church on the top of the Kotchki Pillar in central Georgia. Maxim Kataradze, who is 59 years of age, has lived atop the pillar for over 20 years. Daily, he has supplies hauled up to him through a pulley system. If he ever wants to leave the pillar, he must spend 20 minutes descending a 131-foot ladder. A church was first built on top of the Kotchki pillar in the 7th century. The concept was inspired by the stylites. Number 6. La Rinconada while La Rinconada, Peru might have some 50,000 inhabitants, the village itself is one of the most isolated communities in the world. The town is the highest city in the world, located at 16,732 feet above sea level. The town is primarily a gold mining community with access to mines near the town. Life in the town is harsh and its people live in squalor. There is no indoor plumbing or sanitation services, and garbage is strewn about everywhere on the outskirts of the town. Number 5. Kolmenskop Ghost Town In the early 1900s, Kolmenskop, Namibia was a thriving town located in the Namib Desert. 
That's because of a diamond rush that drew in hundreds of German immigrants. The town had many modern amenities and was the location of Africa's first tram. However, after the price of diamonds dropped after World War I, the inhabitants migrated south. It was completely abandoned by 1954. Now it is a ghostly museum of homes swallowed by sand dunes. Number 4. Tristan da Cunha Located in the South Atlantic, Tristan da Cunha is the world's most remote inhabited island. The nearest mainland city is located 1,743 miles east in Cape Town, South Africa. You can only access the island by boat, as there is no airport. It also rains most of the year, and there is a giant volcano located right in the center. There are also no hotels or restaurants, just under 300 people live in this hermit haven. Number 3. La Verita Tucked away in the mountains of Guadalajara, Spain, is an old abandoned village that only recently was partially repopulated by a small co-op. There is only about a handful of people who live there, and only part of the year. They rebuilt the homes from the original stonework of the abandoned village. They don't have electricity or running water. It takes about an hour car ride, you better have four-wheel drive, up a winding mountain dirt road to get here. And now we've come to the best pick of the day. A home right atop a rocky cliff? Whoever lives here must be insane. I mean, how does he even go grocery shopping? Does he order a drone from Amazon or something? Yeah, even though I'm not the most social person around, living somewhere like here is just pure madness. Number 2. McMurdo Station McMurdo Station in Antarctica is the continent's largest settlement. In the summer, the population can reach just around 1,000 people. The community is mostly made up of scientific researchers, though some average working stiffs can be found in the settlement too. They have their own newspaper and curling rink to keep the isolated settlers from going completely nuts. Number 1. The Holy Trinity Monastery, Greece High up in the rocky hills of Meteora lies not one, but six monasteries all of which are still fully functioning today. The Holy Trinity is the oldest of the six monasteries and is also a seemingly gravity-defying construction that overlooks the Greek town of Kolombaka. The entrance of the monastery can be reached via a series of 140 steps, which climb about 400 meters high and are carved directly into the cliff face. So if someone really wants to brave all these dangers just to pay you a visit, then they must really love you a lot. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. So which of these isolated homes would you like to visit sometime in the future? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want more videos that will exist until the end of time? Click on any of the videos that you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.